Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. And what we have here, which is 8 raised to power a times 8 raised to power a equals to 36. What we have on this side follows from when we have x times x, which is the same thing as x squared. That is, we have the same thing multiplying here. You can write this as a raised to power a then squared equals to 36 here. And also from here, this follows when we have a raised to power m, a raised to power n, which can be written as a raised to power m n. That is, this power multiplies, and all we have becomes a raised to power 2a equals to 36 from here. The next step here, yeah, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log a raised to power 2a equals to log 36 here. And here we apply the power law of log When we have log m raised to power p, this is the same thing as p log m. That is, here the power is 2a, and what we have becomes 2a log 8 equals to log 36 from here. Then, next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. Divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8, which implies log 8 can switch other here. We have 2a left, which is equals to log 36 over log 8 here. Then, from what we have here, we can write 36 as 4 times 9. Then, what we have here, all this, now becomes 2a equals to log 4 times 9 over log 8. Then, from here, this follows the law of log theorem. When we have log m times n, this same thing as log m plus log n. That is, yeah, what we have becomes 2a equals to log 4 plus log 9 over log 8. That is from here, we separate this into two fractions and we have 2a equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 9 over log 8. That is, from here we can rewrite 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared, also 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 3 raised to power 3, then 9 as 3 times 3, which is 3 square. And what we have here becomes 2a equals to log 2 squared over log 2 raised to power 3, then plus log 3 squared over log 2 raised to power 3. Then here we apply the power law of log theorem. That is 2 comes here, 3 here, also from this side. Then we have 2a equals to 2 log 2 over 3 log 2. Then plus, here we have 2 log 3 also over 3 log 2. Which implies here log two cancelled each other. Then we have two a, then equals to two over three plus here we can write this as two over three, then times log three over log two. The next step when we apply change of base here from when we have log a over log b, which can be written as log a. 
to base B, then what we have here becomes 2A equals to 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 log 3 base 2. Then from what we have here, this same thing as 2A equals to 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3. Then to remove this two here, we can multiply both sides by 1 over 2. Multiply this by 1 over 2. Also multiply this by 1 over 2. That is, two here cancel each other. And we have A now equals to 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 times 2 here, that's 6. So here we have the value of x in this problem as 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 over 6 which also here we can factor 2 up here and we have a equals to 2 into bracket 1 plus log 3 base 2 then over 6 which implies here 2 goes here 1 and 2 goes here 3 and what we have now becomes a equals to 1 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. So here we have the value of A as 1 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Now let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. This we substitute the value of A here, which is A equals to 1 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Then times also 8 raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 36 on this side? Then from here, we have same base multiplying follows when we have a raised to power m times also the same power that is a raised to power m. This same thing as a raised to power m plus m, which is 2m. In the same way here, we can write this as a raised to power 2 times 1 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Then is equals to 36 from here. Then next step, this power multiplies this bracket, and we can write this as a raised to power two plus two log three base two over three. Is it equals to thirty six on this side? That is from here. We can express it as two raised to power three. Then, which is raised to power two plus. 2 log 3 base 2, then over 3, and this power multiplies. 3 here cancel each other. Then, what we have here, we are left with 2 raised to power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2, then is it equals to 36 from here. Then, what we have from the law of indices, a raised to power n plus n. Which is equals to a raised to power m times a raised to power n. This here becomes 2 squared times 2 raised to power 2 log 3 with 2 is equals to 36 here. And 2 square here, same thing as 4. And times here we reverse this 2 from power law. And we have 2 raised to power log 3 square with 2 is equals to 36 on this side. Then here we have 4 times 2 raised to power log 3 squared, that's 9 base 2 is equals to 36 here. Yeah. And this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. Then here, yeah, what well, we have same thing as 4 times 9, then is equals to 36 here. Yeah. 
Of course, what the snare here gave us 36, which is equals to 36 on this side. Left hand side equals the right hand side. And hence here, we conclude that A equals to 1 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching us here at Master Team Math Class. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you in next class and bye for now.